So, um, to absolutely no one's surprise, I was at the thrift store not too long ago. I came across this really nice uh, navy blue stretch fabric. I kind of had this vision in my head that it would be a really cute sort of like two-piece. Um, I was hoping for sort of like a cropped tank top, almost like this one for the top, and then like a maxi skirt with a slit in the side for the bottom. I just thought that would be super cute. I was pretty intimidated, um, especially because sometimes it can actually be harder to work with thrift store fabric because it's harder to identify. So you can't look up all the different little idiosyncrasies that different fabrics have. It's impossible to use a half loop top stitching on low viscosity rayon. It would snag the fabric. But I decided to go ahead and make the two piece. And uh... so here's the fabric after I washed it. And as you can see, this is folded right sides together and it has a really cute kind of like subtle stripe going on. Um, you love to see it. So I have it folded right sides together right now. And I took a tank top that I had previously Previously made um, and I decided to outline most of that but I flipped the bottom up because I wanted it to be more of a cropped silhouette so here I am tracing it on the fold so that way when I cut it out I will have two symmetrical pieces that will be right sides facing each other I pinned it down and then I cut it out leaving seam allowance all around the edges So here you can see I have the two pieces and I wanted the front to be more scoopy than the back. So I cut a new neckline and then I just put them back together, right sides facing each other. And then I went ahead and I very meticulously lined it back up and then I pinned on the shoulders and then also down the sides under the armholes because those are the pieces we are going to sew first and I just went around and sewed all of those with a zigzag stitch so that way it could still be stretchy. Here I am trying on the top and marking where I want it to hit on my body and then next I marked that with some chalk and I used some wonder tape and gave it a straight stitch and then once that seam was done I flipped it up one more time and I sewed it in place using an invisible stitch so that way it would have a really really nice clean ending. So here I am stitching that into place with some invisible stitches. For the neck hole and the armholes, I just flipped the fabric down twice and pinned it into place and then I just sewed that so it would be nice and finished. So now I'm taking some measurements for the skirt. I'm measuring around my waist and then also around my hips. Um, I am not going to lie to you. I found a really good YouTube tutorial all about how to make a skirt. So I'm going to link that in the information bar below because it's very clear and concise and I believe it could explain this better than I can. However, you can see me uh, carrying out the process here. So I graded it from the smallest part of my waist to the largest part of my hips. And then I went down the sides and pinned everything in place. And I also made sure to leave where I wanted the slit to be as well. And here you can see I used a zigzag stitch to just sew it up and then I cut off the excess. Next, taking some nice chunky elastic, I made the measurement of my waist and then I sewed it into a loop and I pinned it to the skirt, um, actually to the right side of the skirt. So we're gonna sew around the top of this and then flip the elastic in and it'll have a really nice finished edge around the top. So here I am pinning that into place. And then I took it over to my machine and did an overlocking stitch so that way none of the stretch would be compromised and everything would be nice and beautifully finished. So once I did go ahead and flip the elastic in, I did a little stitch along each side so it would stay. I gave the skirt a nice haircut because it was much too long. Then I finished the slit by using some wonder tape along each side and then just giving that a straight stitch and then I just finished up the hem. Hi, I'm Renata Bliss and I'm your freestyle dance teacher. This is my favorite thing that I've ever made. I feel like my sewing skills have improved a lot as well because um, while I was doing this project, there were a lot less snafus 
than there usually are. <laughs> and I just feel really good about it. Um, I was really comfortable wearing this on vacation when I took it with me for my trip to Turkey. I think I'll also probably be taking this on my trip to Greece because I think it would look great in Greece as well. Um, yeah, and I just, I love that I sourced it from fabric that I found at the thrift store. Um, it just makes me feel really good as far as sustainability goes. And it also passed my second sustainability test um, because I put it through the wash and it still is intact, which is great um, because durability is a huge part of sustainability. Um, thank you so much for watching. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and I'll talk to you very soon. Bye.